What's up, everyone? Snooty Mantar here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. And in today's video, I am finally bringing back the Battle Pass ranking series after its basically a little hiatus. And today, we're continuing the series with Season 5. We have 8 skins to cover today. And also, I, I want to make this a monthly series as well. So that means one episode per month. So next month, it will be Season 6. So just get there you go. Anyways, if you're new to this series, I rank every Battle Pass skin within Fortnite. But basically by each season, pretty much what the title is. <laughs> And yeah, that also includes secret skins because they're basically part of the battle pass. And if you want to check out the other videos of this series, I'll put a playlist linked down below in the description of this video. But without any hesitation, let's just hop right into it. So we're starting at the number 8 spot as the worst skin from the season 5 battle pass. Should come as no surprise to, the, to anybody, Huntress. Yep, not a shocker that she made the list, but you know, at the low spot in this video, it's whatever, it's fine. It's just like... She's just so freaking ugly. Like, epic. Could you make... Could you... You could have used a better character model than this one. Like, the wild... Why the wildcat bundle? A bundle? What? <laughs> like, the wildcat... The wildcat model? Really? I don't know why I said... That. Did I say that twice? I don't know. But, like... That just... That, it makes the skin bad. Because there's a lot of wildcat... Like, model... Like, skins out there. Which are just so bad. The best one... Is Ginger Gunner. Let that sink in. Ginger Gunner. You wanna know why? Because it's covering up her face. Anyways... This was a tier one skin, and just like Battlehawk from last from last seasons, like it was a bad tier one skin that no one used. But I can tell you this: I would rather use this one over Battlehawk any day of the week. It's a bad character model, terrible color scheme, just a bad skin in general. Like I never see this ran at all, and it definitely deserved that. I don't want to see that ugly bitch in my face. But that's why she comes in at the no at the lowest spot on this list. Moving on into the number 7 spot is actually going to go to the secret skin of this season, the Enforcer. As this is the secret skin, it should be good because Epic wants to have hype around these types of skins, right? Well, the answer is no. Honestly, one of the worst secret skins in, in the game. I like the black color scheme to him. It's really nice, but that's basically it. It's very ugly for a legendary skin when the other two legendary skins in this pass, which we're going to talk about a little later, are... Just a night and day difference between this one. He's a skin I never use and I just never see in game. His back bling, eh, it's okay. But just another bad skin within the battle pass and just a huge disappointment of a freaking skin. Especially because the storyline part of him was pointless. Coming at the number six spot is, at, is going to go to Sledge. Okay, guys, so, uh, <laughs> Taurus Production here and, uh, I accidentally called Sledgehammer Sledge. Um,. Yeah, so just ignore that, okay? Because I'm a fucking idiot. <sighs> I'm so stupid, stupid motherfucker. Yep, another generic military dude in the battle pass. But at least they tried something different with this one, so I, I can appreciate him for that. I don't know. But I can say that this skin isn't the best thing in the world. It really isn't. Like, There's better skins out there than this, I can tell you that. For like the military type skin. But... This one's not bad. I won't. I'm not gonna lie. It's just that it's just a skin I will never see myself ever running. But I can safely say the reason why he's at the lowest, like he's not, like he's at the lower end of the list and not higher, is because I feel like he's one of the weaker skins of this pass. Like, who runs this? Seriously, just being honest there. Who runs this skin? His beard's weird too. Moving on into the number five spot is actually going to go to probably I'd say the most underrated skin in this battle pass, Redline. This is actually the female version of Burnout, which has gotten a lot of reskins. <sighs> God, and and like I mean a lot of them. And this one has only Technic. Is this like the only one? But if you really want to count this one, it's I guess Whiteout. But th that's Jenny. But this one's Ramirez. So there you go. I would honestly argue by saying that this is not as great as Burnout. Burnout is awesome for how he looks and things like that. But I would say Epic can make the skin a lot better by adding like a no helmet edit style because I know a lot of people have been asking for that. I don't think it wasn't as much hype anymore, but it was like when they were doing the edit styles for Battle Pass skin back in Season 8. They might do it again sometime. I hope they do because this skin probably deserves a no helmet edit style. Just saying. But at the end of the day, it's it's Epic's decision if they want to do that or not. They did. I don't know why some skins get edit styles, some don't. It's, it's 
weird. But overall, this is an underrated skin. I Honestly, I might actually give this skin a chance. I actually might have to run it. <laughs> now at the now we're at the number four spot, and this is actually gonna go and this is going to go to Rook. This skin is pretty good. She basically gives that a type of imi like intimidation on her face, you know? She's basically telling you that he, she means business. She could have honestly become like a, a quote unquote pro player skin, but I don't see that ever happening. I really wish people could pick up on the skin because it's a slim character model. She doesn't take up ADS or nothing like that. I think she's a good underrated sweat skin. And I do like running her from time to time. So there's that too. Number three, Ragnarok. Yep, this one is basically like the last video in reverse. Oh, did I just, did I just spoil that? Right. Anyways, the reason why he's not higher on the list is because he has a big problem, which I have with the progressive tier 100 skins of more seasons as we continue on with this series. And that's the base version is hot garbage, okay? Just like every other type of progressive skin in the game, they're supposed to start off bad and then they get better over time basically when you like either complete challenges or was it, was it challenges i don't know but i know it was xp that that's a good thing i would say like he does get better over time he has a good color scheme like his freaking final edit styles are badass dude that bone mask on him is mm, that's sick and his back bling is so good but as a tier 100 skin itself i think he's a good skin but i don't ever use him because I feel like there's better tier 100 skins that just skin in general in the game, which are just better than him in general. So there you go. I said general a whole bunch of times in that sentence. <laughs> just like number two spot, you know what I mean? There's better skins out there. Obviously the next two spots. And it's Surf Strider. It's Surf Is it? Oh, hold on. Hold on. It's, it's Sun Strider. <laughs> I wrote Surf Strider when the script. What the fuck? It's the first Jenny to appear on this series. Yes. So. That, that that already gives it a number two spot just like that because it's Jenny, but does it make it a little bit of cliche? Is it, does it, does it make me a little cliche to put her this high on the list? Probably, but it's a good reasoning. But if you don't know why I said Jenny, and well, there's a video on my channel. I'll put it in the link down below in the description. It's basically explaining how Headhunter, which is what I call Jenny, um, on why she's my favorite character model but back to the topic there's not a lot to say about her this is that this is a fucking phenomenal skin <laughs> so i had to cuss there but i love the color scheme on her the red's awesome she was i believe the first ever jenny skin to have blonde hair and there's not a lot of them and it looks great on her and what do i need to say it's jenny <laughs> like she's hands down the best female skin in this past don't at me on that, okay? But, guys, we all know what the best skin from this pass is without any competition. It was just like last time. It's Drift. What hasn't been said about Drift that hasn't been said about him at all? He's one of the most popular skins within the game. Like, he got two reskins and a female counterpart within Season X's Battle Pass. And he's getting, like, I think a new female skin within that, like, series of skins. We're just gonna be in the Fortnite crew, which by the way, it looks really cool. Drift is one of my personal favorite skins in the game because of all the ad styles. Oh my God, they look so good. All the ad styles look phenomenal. Even the default one looks good, I can tell you that. I love the mask that he has. Like, I love everything about this skin. The hair, like the little mask, like the coronavirus mask, basically. The gold, black, and pink color scheme is amazing. And not to mention his iconic kitsune mask and yes that's what it is okay it is the fox clan i know that but that's what he's based off of is a kitsune just a god tier battle pass skin i love running him and that's why he comes in at number one Whew! all right guys so that is it for the video today hopefully y'all enjoyed and if you did i hit my mic right there uh if you did Please make sure to subscribe to Snowy Minotaur so you can see it for more videos. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you can see almost any more videos. And also, don't forget to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed the video. Next month is going to be Season 6, so get excited for that. But anyways, see you all in the next one. I don't feel like saying the other shit that my outro. Peace out, everyone.